Hi Gemini. Welcome to those that are joining me for the first time and welcome back to those returning viewers and subscribers. Thank you very much for leaving behind your likes, comments and shares. It's very much appreciated. And we'll get straight into it, Gemini, and see what's happening for you. Okay, we have the star, beautiful. The five of wands, the ace of wands, the knight of cups, the empress card and the Knight of Swords. Okay, so first I just want to say there's a lot of um, energy that you're anticipating something that's coming through quite strongly with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords here on either side. You're very intuitive this month, I feel as though, which is indicated by the Empress. Whatever it is that you've been working towards or whatever relationship you've been working towards or a goal perhaps, I feel as though you're very in tune with this goal. This is something you're wanting to achieve and you're rushing into it. But there's a lot of anxiousness surrounding you this month, most definitely. Now, the st starting off with the star card, I feel as though there's a lot of, this indicates a lot of fame, public image, notoriety. This could also fall under the star sign of an Aquarius. Maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius <clears throat> or a fellow air sign uh, in a relationship manner. But I feel as though you're rising on the up and up, Gemini, and there's something you've been working towards that you really will become a star in. This is also indicative of you becoming a star to someone else. You're a star in their eyes. You're being placed on a pedestal. But this is you gaining momentum, gaining fame for something you've been working towards, a goal you've been doing, a creative pursuit, a business you've opened up, or a work, um, a work habit or hobby. The star card really is someone and something that's happening around you that's illuminating a lot of abundance, joy, emotional happiness, and divine orchestration. So something is in the works here. Fate is at play and you're working towards goals here. And they're going to get you this stardom, so to speak. This could also indicate fame um, if you're in the social uh, media realm or you're in production or becoming famous or meeting someone famous. I feel as though that could be on the cards for you. Now, moving on, we have the five of wands. This is a card of communication, exchange, conflict, gossip. On this again, I'm getting this unsettled energy about you. I feel as though there's a lot of things you have to tick off and a lot of uh, T's you have to cross and a lot of I's you have to dot, especially with the Knight of Swords here. There's a lot of things you need to rearrange in order. There's a lot of correspondence that needs um, to be adhered to with the five. This could be at work and or in a relationship. This could indicate an exchange of words may uh, see you on the defensive in a way. But I also feel you need to express yourself. So I feel as though there's unfinished business if it's in relation to work. This could indicate that you need to correspond with people, places, companies via email, calls, messages, texts, etc. Or a person, perhaps a relationship partner that you need to liaise with and communicate what's happening. This could also indicate internal strife at work, perhaps some sort of situation uh is going on here. I don't feel as though it's directly relating to you. I feel as though it might be relating to someone else and you get caught in the middle of it. And this is other people's gossip, other people's banter. Don't get too involved in it. Uh, you're very intuitive again this month, so it's important you listen to your intuition. You are guided by that. Also with the five, I feel as though this could be some sort of conflict with in-laws, parents, sisters-in-laws, uh, a boyfriend or a girlfriend's family. If you have met their family, this could be just conflict in general within your family also that might be happening. And so again, make sure you listen to your intuition. I mean, you've got a lot of fiery energy here. You may get upset or angry over something. Something might not necessarily go your way here with the Five of Wands. So it's important for you to maintain that cool, calm and collectiveness, which I feel as though you will here with the Knight of Cups. So as much as there's, there's a bit of water in these cards, which indicates an agitation in an emotional sense, it's important that you stay centered is the word I'm looking for. 
centered in this situation. I feel as though this could also indicate competition. If you're in the acting business or production or publishing business, this indicates competition. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to pertain to you if you are in those industries. It's really any industry where you have competition in terms of marketing, advertising, projects, etc. This could indicate uh, competition here from fellow colleagues. So that's always something to be careful of. But you seem to be harboring a really good idea, Gemini, indicated by the Ace of Wands and the Star card that is destined for notoriety, reward, incentive that you will eventually deliver to the world and bring to the world. Now, this Ace of Wands is, can be a new idea in terms of a creative pursuit or a new idea in the company or the corporation that you work for. This could also indicate a brand new relationship coming to you that is destined. It's in the stars. It's written in the stars, Gemini. This is the time where it's at play. This is the time where it's finally starting to come together and you will see the results of this. Most definitely because we have the Empress and she brings us physical results in our physical realm. So this could indicate a new fire sign that's coming to you. This could also indicate a earth sign. I mean, you do have an Aquarius here. It could be air, but I feel as though because the Empress is so big on physicality, I feel as though it's it's a potential Earth sign. So Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo that may be coming into your life. You may hear of this person. You may in, be introduced to this person around this month. And this is a brand new opportunity with them in, in love and or friendship. But I feel as though it's more strongly coming through as divine love. You've, you're being brought together by the stars and it's an earth sign, male or female. And it's someone who's very intuitive, someone who's spiritual, much like yourself. But you're, it's, this is written in the stars. This meeting is fated. This person will be in your life. Uh, again, relating to the stars. This is, this is meant to be. They're in your path for a reason. Now, I feel as though this will happen um, quite abruptly, quite quickly as well. Again, reinforcing, reiterating what I've mentioned in regards to the anxiousness and unsettled energy around you here. But the Knight of Cups could indicate a water sign that's around you. This could be that new potential love person or, or a friend that's a water sign, perhaps. This could also be you if you have water in your chart, Gemini. But this indicates to me that you're going, you're, you're, moving and evolving to a higher emotional plane here and i feel as though it's the result as this person this earth sign when you hear about this earth sign you feel some sort of emotional connection emotional upheaval emotional doors opening up for you here with the knight of cups all in relation to this earth sign now it doesn't necessarily have to be an earth sign the empress can also indicate a pregnancy so maybe you are trying to get pregnant maybe you are planning a pregnancy uh, you talk with your partner about having children and falling pregnant, etc. That could certainly be it also because the Empress brings us physical rewards and assets, money, pregnancies, ideas, anything that's physical that can be generated. And I feel as though it's fated. It's in the stars here. You must implement them. But I feel you're working towards a higher purpose here, Gemini, and it's absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure what it is that you're working towards, but I feel it will change your destiny in a really big way with the Empress and the Star card. These two cards really indicate this could change the course of your life. So it's important that you stay focused, you stay centered, you watch your words, you take these new opportunities that come to you and you implement them here with the Empress card. They will bring you this emotional fulfillment you're after. They will bring you the fame, the destiny, whatever it is. When you wish upon a star, these cards really indicate that this wish fulfillment process can be uh, can come to fruition. Now, moving on, we have the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is this anxious, restless, fiery energy I'm mentioning here. I feel as though you're rushing to achieve something, Gemini, and, I, and I'm tempted to say that patience is required here. Now, this could be in relation to a, a, a relationship or a work situation, but the Knight of Swords is you feeling unsettled, unsettled to achieve this dream, this wish, this goal. And, you know, it's important you don't rush into these things because this can happen, conflict and uh, uncertainty and disharmony, etc. So you have a new beginning, most definitely. And you're really wanting to rush into it. And if this is a relationship with an earth sign, I'm tempted to say you shouldn't rush into it with this earth sign because this can oftentimes cause conflict. 
but I mean, there's a lot of passion with the Knight of Swords. There's fiery energy. It could be temperament. It could be passion. It could be lust. So I feel as though you might be lusting over an earth sign. An earth sign might be lusting over you. Maybe you're rushing to fall pregnant without having, you know, thinking through the consequences and the reality. But I feel as though there's a lot of destined things happening for you, most definitely. So we'll have a look and see what the priestesses have to say. What is this star card bringing Gemini? What is this star card bringing Gemini priestesses? Tell us, give us some insights into this beautiful star card. What is it providing for Gemini? So we have faith. So faith, a destiny, stardom, it's all here, Gemini. You're making news of something. The ones can be communication. You're making news of something happening, some sort of action, movement happening. But it's important to have the priestess of faith. And the angel said unto her, thou shalt give birth to the sun. So faith is all about creating something. As I mentioned, you're creating something and it's in your stars. It's in your path. You're creating your own world. Some sort of action, movement, conflict, words, physica physicality in the physical realm here. When it's presented, it will create a new world for you. This is the start of something new. This ace, this empress, the star card, you have to have faith here because it will all your wishes and your hopes, your manifestations and your dreams will be answered with the priestess of faith here. She's a beautiful priestess and she's reminding us that we are the creators of our own world. So manifestation is really big for you. I would advise you to manifest, to meditate, whatever it is that you do to help create your reality more so. <clears throat> now we'll have a look and see what the Ace of Wands is offering us. This is a new relationship, a new beginning, achieving a goal. Tell us. So we have rebirth. Beautiful. Priestess of rebirth. November 25th to December 23rd. These dates may resonate and this might be the time where a rebirth happens. This could indicate a relationship with the past person. A past lover comes back to you. The prospect comes back. It is faded, but we do have free will. So it's up to you to decide whether to take this opportunity or not, because it will be presented in your physical realm. Rebirth is also a change in career, a change in a lifestyle, a change of um, thinking, a change in goals. But this is all about movement. There's a lot of action happening. Gemini and the stars, it's meant to be. You've got the dates here. Take note of them. This could be when you finally see the fruitions of your goals and dreams come true. But all in all, I'm wishing you a lovely month, Gemini.